Hello crafty friends, welcome to the last for now episode in our beverage themed clean and simple card video series. So far the only dies we haven't used are these ones down here so I'm going to use some of those today and I'm going to revisit these which we used the other day. I think what I'm going to do is put this set away and get it out again in the autumn when you know we want to drink hot chocolates and pumpkin spice lattes and all that kind of thing and do another set of videos featuring winter warmer type drinks so my idea for this is to make a five by seven inch card so i've got a card blank and a piece of smooth white cardstock that's a little bit smaller so we get a nice white border and i'm going to make a shaker card so i'm going to cut some cup shapes out of my card panel here and for my sentiment I'm going to use this stamp that says a little something and I'm thinking I will make this a gift card containing card so maybe the sentiment will go somewhere like that and then we'll have a couple of cups there. So I'll tape these down and I'll put the tape on the inside, which is the bit that I don't want. So it doesn't matter if it rips coming off. I put this on here and I'm going to protect the front of the card by covering it with a bit of packaging so that the scratches in my plate don't transfer onto the front of my card. There we go, so we've got our cups. Now I want to add the apertures for the lids. I'm going to leave a little gap between the cup and the lid. I've got some plastic packaging which is going to go behind my cup apertures. But before I stick that on, I want to emboss the pattern from the lid onto it. I'm going to run this through my mini Gemini and it's probably not strong enough to cut through the plastic. It will just make a dent in it. Yep, it's embossed it, which is what I wanted. And I'm going to do the same with the little cup lid. That's got a little bit of texture. So now I'm going to take this tape runner and go around the outside of my cup apertures. And so now I'm going to line up the lid with the aperture and hopefully get the pattern. It's actually got a bit of a, a bow to it, which is quite fun, I think, because it's got that curve like the lid might have a curve. And do the same with this one. Actually, it's probably easier to do it from this side. So, our apertures are secure. Now I'm going to take some foam strips and run them around the edge of my cups. I find when it comes to curving tape like this, foam tape, take the release paper off both sides and then you can curve it round without any problems at all. You do, however, have to be careful when filling it with things like glitter that you don't pour it all over the exposed sticky. But if you do, you can just add a little bit of glue. So I've overlapped these two bits of foam here so there's no gap for glitter and what not to escape from. And while I'm here, I'm going to run tape around the whole of the backside of my card panel. I am going to take most of this release paper off because what I find is I'll put glitter and what not in there. And as I'm taking the release paper off, I'll accidentally knock the card 
and then the glitter and sequins or whatever I put in there go flying all over the shop so if I do this now I shall hopefully avoid that and I think I'll actually take it off around the cups as well and if I do get glitter on the tape I'll just add some glue I think that'll be less risky than trying to do all this removal and keep things in there it's all about workflow and we find our own workflow what works for us through trial and error or trial and many errors as is the case with me so now that is ready for its shaker elements i'm going to get all these little circles out of this die because what i'm going to do is create two bubble tea teas that have got those black tapioca pearls or whatever they are in them so there we have our little tapioca pearls cut from black cardstock might be a few too many i think we'll take some out the little one i also want to add some iridescent glitter so i've got some nice big chunky glitter here i don't want to add too much because i always overfill these things and then they don't shake properly so maybe just a little bit up oh, see there we go you can always double up your craft foam or your foam tape so it's a bit deeper and then you get a bit more wiggle rim or shaking rim i want to add some color to the pieces that i'm going to put behind my bubbles or pearls or whatever it is they're called so i'm going to create one piece to go behind each one but i want the color to stop where the bar is across the top of the cup and i'm thinking lovely summery colors so we've got spice marmalade this could be a, a mango flavored tea thing i'm guessing So that should fit behind that little one there, I think. And we'll do picked raspberry. So this could be raspberry flavoured tea. I think I might be getting my bubble teas and my summer coolers mixed up, but that's okay. I do just want to give this a bit of texture by splattering on some water. just give these a blast with my hairdryer away from this. I'm going to cut this so it's bigger than my cup so it will stick to the foam tape and to get this aligned up I'm going to, <laughs> this is a bit difficult because I want this here to go behind this bar here. I can't turn it over yet because I've got that. So now we've got this here. And I think that's worked. I think they lined up just about right. Just to make sure nothing trickles out of that little gap there I'll pop some double-sided tape on I think everything else is fine I'll take that off and I think we'll just add some glue to everything that's going to be in contact with the card base just so we've got a bit of wiggle room when we put it down and there we have our shaking bubble tea which looks quite cool I think. For my sentiment I'm gonna stamp in black ink because we've got those nice black tapioca pearl things and I'm gonna cut it out with this stitched banner die. It's a little bit long but I think we can balance that. I've added some tape runner to the back of that so that it adheres to the plastic part. You could, I was just thinking, you could, if you wanted, cut some tea bags 
and add those to your shakers if you wanted but I'm wondering about cutting just a couple from maybe three from white cardstock and sticking them on as some embellishments just looking to see if there's anything else that makes sense could have a straw or two just sort of hanging around I'll cut those out of white cardstock and see and use this heart as well from the same set as that so we've got two of each straw um two of each tea bag and two hearts i just thought they'd make maybe if we have them in a diagonal like that just make an interesting bit of almost embossed texture I think actually maybe that tea bag is just a bit more interesting than the other one like that and then maybe two hearts I guess yeah I quite like that actually yes let's do that just spread out some of this high tack PVA glue press my die cuts into it oops try not to get them too mucky and pop them on the front of my card. I think I might have these coming in from the side, actually. Okay, so that's this card done and this little series done. I do hope you've enjoyed it and that you will come back for the autumn winter edition later in the year. I also hope you'll come back tomorrow for my next video, which will be another in my sporadic series of six by six paper pad clean and simple card making videos. If this is your first visit here and you'd like to see more from me, do subscribe and ring the notification bell. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.